Okay, I'm doing a little video here on my swirl filter. I've been starting to get some questions on it and uh, uh, like why I've added it and, and uh, the reasons for having a swirl filter, especially on a flood and drain system. Well, first of all, I added it because I added this fish tank. Um, this is a tank where I keep the babies. And uh, I was, I had no filtration from the water that was coming from the sump tank to this tank. And it promptly filled the bed up with all this fish waste. Well, this fish waste that's in here come from these fish. So uh, um, every now and again I stir it up a little bit and I get it out of the system. But the fish from the, the waste from these guys since I'm running a quarter of the water from the system through this fish aquarium there was no filtration on that water so I either I had a choice of either adding another grow bed in front of this aquarium or a swirl filter I chose to do a swirl filter it was quick it was easy and uh, they're not hard to build um, I used a five gallon bucket. I put a standpipe in the center. This is where the water leaves the system. This is where it in, enters the system. The water comes in here and I have an elbow and it kind of swirls it around the outside of the system. The heavy stuff falls out and ends up down there. Okay. The clean water goes, or the sort of clean water goes back down through here into the into the fish tank. You know, just a straight straight pipe through through the through the system. Okay. This catches the I run one quarter of the water through my system, so this is probably one quarter of the waste that I get from my from my grow bed. Which usually ends up or used to end up in the grow bed that one, that one, and this one, and um, it would break down inside of the thing in the flood and drain grow bed. That, along with the worms, would break it down, and the plants would eat it, and fish get clean water. Well, when you take the water and it's not going through any of that and straight into here, well, you end up with a lot of waste. <coughs> The reason I have to have this swirl filter is um, I'm running too many fish in the system. I've got 40 something fish in there, uh, 48, and I've got about 45 babies over here. So I've got too many fish in the system. So I needed another grow bed uh, or something for a little additional filtration. What this uh, swirl filter does for me is it catches the waste, as you can see down here at the bottom, right? And when my ammonia or my nitrites or nitrates start to get a little high, I come out here and I clean out this swirl filter um, through, this, through this valve right here. I'll put this, I'll empty uh, this uh, swirl filter into a bucket and I'll go out and put it on my dirt garden. This gives me a way to, to pull out a bunch of nutrients out of my system to uh, help keep uh, everything in balance. You know, because I'm running too many fish, uh, I've got to be able to have a way to pull nutrients out of my system and this is the most efficient way to do that. Um, the other reasons to use the swirl filters are, are right, if you're uh, doing a floating rack system or some sort of constant flow system that does not have filtration of its own. So basically you would run it through a swirl filter and then into a um, media type tumbler system which, which would break down the waste that got past this turn it into nutrients and and then right through the system. It's just um, I'm using the swirl filter as actually a way of controlling 
how much nutrients are in my system at any, at any one given time. Uh, did I build this thing perfectly? No, not even close. Um, probably should be a bigger bucket, but uh, this serves my purpose. But basically, you need, let me tell you how to do it right, not how I did it here, but uh, here's where the water comes in, it swirls around, most of the waste drops out, and up down at the bottom, and the water, water returns to the system through here. Okay, really, I need to, I need to have a, up here higher than this, and higher than this, I need to have a, another hole for a return line um, in case something clogs this up. You know, because if you're away from this thing for any length of time and this clogs up, you're going to have a mess. So, for safety's sake, I should have another um, hole over here up higher than these um, with a return line so that um, you don't end up with a mess, okay? And then down here at the bottom, I have a, a valve where I can clean this system out. Um, they're pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. And um, besides, your dirt garden will love that fish poop. Um, your wife's uh, potted plants will love that fish poop. It's uh, also a way for you to quickly lower your nitrates, nitrites, ammonia in your system by removing that stuff. Um, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any more questions about swirl filters and their uses, um, this is just happens to be what I'm using mine for. Um, I'm no expert on swirl filters by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I do know if you've got a way to effectively pull, pull nutrients out of your system when um, your, uh, say your ammonia or your, uh, your nitrites get too high, um, this is uh, this is the best way to do it because you've got a concentrated mess of it right here. You get that out of the system and, and it brings things back into order pretty quick. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And remember, people, life is good. Be safe.